Hi guys, I'm Daisy Salen from Thursday Financial. How are you today? So, well, um, for the trades today, the strategy I'm talking about today is actually about um about the question that um I got asked from one of my customer, and then um the customer was asking um it's a bit hard to tell the um trend direction when using the uh, parabolic um and then um for today I'm just try to um insert one more indicator into the parabolic to trade together just to um, confirm the trend direction easily so well um that's what i'm gonna do today and well um first of course let's go to the setting so well um okay now here's the setting so what well, just click, click on technical indicator okay and then next we'll go to simple moving average that's the extra indicator that we're gonna use today and then open the drop down Yep, just click on the drop down and then for um for the strategy we're actually using one moving average and then just deselect the SMA2 and SMA3 and then set SMA1 to 30. And then um next we'll go to parabolic and then put a tick on parabolic and then just open the drop down. Okay, so for the um for the parameter for parabolic we're actually using 0.05 and 0.1 so again step is 0.05 max is 1 uh, 0.1 okay so after we get this done just close the technical indicators window and then all we need to confirm is the chart period and option period so for chart period we are using a 10 seconds chart period and then we are trading with a 30 seconds uh one minute option today so okay so now it's all set and then uh, we are all uh, we are ready to go so well okay just let me browse a little bit here Okay, yep, just browse a little bit here and um, I can tell the trend is an uptrend and then I will explain the details to you later. So well, just let me place a trade first and then I will explain to you how we do it. Okay, so yep, I placed it like high here. So um, if you remember, the um, uh, I talked about how you can trade with the parabolic previously, so it's pretty simple. And then um, all we need to look at is the, the relationship and the color of the dots. So um, if, a, if a blue dot is appear below the candlestick, we will open a high option. That's the previous explanation. And then for today, we add in a simple moving average and then by using the simple moving average, you are actually able to tell the trend direction. And then, uh, well, in here, the moving average is actually heading upward overall. So uh, we can tell that the price is in uptrend overall. And then while the, the, the market is in uptrend, um, we will only aim for purchase timing to go for high. And then um, in here, the blue dot appeared below the candlestick and then um, is a uptrend and then that's why I opened a high position there and then now the the, the the position was ended in profit and then well I'm just gonna browse a little bit more here just to show you the timing for you to open a low option so okay so well um I think the the price is a downtrend here so well I just place a trade first and then I will explain it to you how to do it yep just place it a low option so um, similar to when you place high, for, for you to place low, what you need is that um, you need a red dot to appear above the candlestick. And then, uh, well, first you need to actually confirm the market is in a downtrend. So how do you confirm it? It's by looking at the moving average. So um, you see now the moving average is actually heading downward overall. And then from there, we can actually tell that the market is in a downtrend overall means that the price is gonna fall overall. So um, um, during a downtrend, if we go after low, we got a pretty high chance of um getting profit. So in here, I see the market is in a downtrend, and then um, I um look at the relationship. I look at the color of the red dot, and then um, it's a red dot appear above the candlestick, and then I open the high option, uh, low option. But then, uh, well, in here, I lost it. So, well, um, it just turned against me at the last minute. But then, oh, well, it doesn't only, it doesn't only happen to you, it happens to me as well. The, the thing is that we just need to overcome it and then um, just to make more fuel trades and then just to um, turn the negative into positive. So, okay. So, um, again, I'm looking at a downtrend here. Yep. Just opened it a low option here. So, well, I um, just want to do a quick 
explanation on the moving average. This well, um, this is a 30 period option uh, moving average. So meaning that um, the term period is refers to the the numbers of candlesticks. So um, 30 period moving average means that um, the the moving average in here is actually calculating the previous 30 candles. So um, it's just averaging out the previous 30 candles in this chart and then it just tells us the overall direction of the market so in here is the 10 seconds chart so um 30 candlestick means that is roughly around five minutes so um I, well um we the candlestick here is actually telling us the overall movement of the past five minutes and then that's actually quite a reliable um, information on the trend direction and that's why we set it to 30 periods so okay so well um, the trade is finished and I was ending in profit so um, let's take a look at the first session it's the first half of my trade so okay three trades and then um, two profit and one loss and then the, um, the, um, the total result now is come to seven dollars so well not what I'm looking for so well I just gonna make few more trades just try to um, make um, just try to increase my profit for today a little more so okay so well um just look at my trade and see how I trade if you do have any question on any of the position I open just simply leave me a comment down there and then I can get back to you as soon as possible okay so now um, I will start the trade and um, I will see you soon again Okay, so well, um, that took me a little bit of time just um just now. So well, um, for today, um, I made seven trades, but then um, two loss um within these seven trades, and then the total profit has come to um twenty six dollar for today. Well, um, not bad. Um, and then um, just a reminder that um, the the moving average here actually helps me a lot to identify the trend direction. So um, if you do have any difficulty or you are struggling to to identify the trend direction while using the parabolic you can um, try to insert a 30 period um, moving average and then it's definitely gonna help you to um, to to emphasis and um, to to identify the um, trend direction within split in a split second so okay so um that's how I trade with the um, parabolic and moving average so um if you do have any question on this strategy let me know by putting a comment down there and I can get back to you as soon as possible so well um just like you should if you do have any um, difficulty or if you are struggling on the on any of the strategy that you're using just simply ask me and then just like this one here if I got the solution I can make it into a video for you guys so okay well um if you like my video give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more live trading video and I will see you soon again tomorrow bye